you want this tip of the iceberg slide, which by the way was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free, then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be super fun. We're going to make a three point circle infographic on PowerPoint. The main point of this slide is to demonstrate three sub points of a main point. You can see the main point right over here and you can see the sub points right over here. It's a good way for your audience to digest the information as they see fit. Keep in mind, these points can be whatever you'd like, but they have to correlate to one another. I know it looks intimidating, but don't worry. With a simple trick I use, it's actually really, really easy to do. Step one, get an image that will be used to trace the infographic. Yes, you did hear this correctly. The first thing we're going to do, assuming that you have a blank slide, is head over to Google and we're going to search for Chrome logo. That's right, the Google Chrome logo is the image we're going to use to trace this infographic. What do I mean by tracing this infographic? Don't worry, you're about to find out. We're specifically going to be using this image in particular. Does this look familiar? I bet it does. So uh, we're just going to copy that image and if you don't have access to it, don't worry, I'll provide a link to this image in the description. And we're going to head over here and just paste that. Just gonna decrease the size a bit, put it in the center. And that is the first step completed. Step two, trace the infographic using the image. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna head over to insert shapes and then click on this shape right here, which is called circle hollow. We're gonna draw it out by holding shift and expanding it. And we're also going to remove the outline of the image. We're also gonna set the transparency for this image to 25%. How do we do that? You go to shape fill, more fill colors, and in transparency over here, set it to 25%. Now, the reason we did that is because it helps us trace the image more effectively. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'm just gonna place this image just over here, right? I can make it just a slightly larger, just like that, and I think that looks fine. Just keep in mind throughout the tracing technique, it does not have to be perfect. Good is okay, guys. Good is fine. Don't aim for perfection because it's gonna take us a long time to achieve and time is money. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna head over to insert, we're gonna head over to shapes, and we're gonna click on this rectangle over here. Now comes the tracing part. We're just going to trace over the blank spots of this image. It does not have to be perfect, but it does have to be consistent. So. Let's just change the color of this to orange and remove the outline. And the reason why I changed the color of that to orange is so it can help me separate between the circle and the rectangles, right? I'm just gonna draw it out to over here, say. And now I'm just gonna duplicate this image and rotate it just like that over here. And one more over here. All right, perfect, okay. So now it comes time for the fine tuning, fine adjustments. The aim is to get only one side of our rectangle slightly touching the inside of the circle. This is what I mean. So let's go to this rectangle right here. I've noticed that you know we have a little chunk of that rectangle in the circle. This is not what I want. So I'm just gonna move it down slightly using only the arrow keys until I get something like this. Maybe I can just bring that up just a tad higher. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, cool. The next thing is we're going to play around with this one. I'm just gonna move it downwards until I get something I am happy with. So let's just move it up here and we can move only one side, which is the left side of the rectangle, just slightly touching the circle like so. Yep, that looks perfect. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. Let's just decrease the size of this and move this to the left over here. I think that looks perfect. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna click on the circle and the three rectangles, and then we're just gonna go to format, merge shapes, and then fragment. Now before I click on fragment, just keep in mind, 
None of this was perfect. None of this was perfect. You can see that over here, for example, you know, I didn't cover the entire uh, gap. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be consistent. So now I'm just gonna head over to format and click on fragment. And now it's just a matter of deleting. So I'm gonna delete the outer rectangles first. And then I'm just gonna go here and delete that. I'm gonna delete the inner rectangles as well. And finally, I'm just gonna delete these last few gaps over here. I can delete the image and there we go. That looks very, very, very good. And that, that's the basis for our three point circle infographic. Step three, add the icons. All right, with that done, now we can just color in this infographic. Make sure that with your colors, you're not sending a transparency to anything. So over here, for example, I have a, a light blue color that I'm gonna use and there's no transparency. And then I'm gonna have a lightish green color I'm gonna use over here and a yellow color that I'm gonna be using over here. Perfect. Now it's time to put in the icons. A key note, I understand not many of you know how to bring in icons into your PowerPoint slides that are customizable. I also understand not many of you have the insert uh, icons button over here in your PowerPoint software. Don't worry, SlideCow has you covered. We have a video revealing three key techniques to bringing any icon that's customizable. You can change the color, change the size, do whatever you want with it onto your PowerPoint slide. It's on the top right in the info button. Just click that and give it a whirl. On another note, please make sure that your icons correlate to your text. Over here, for example, I have a telephone icon, but I have some you know, placeholder for the text. Uh, in the real world, in the business world, I'm gonna be using an icon that represents my text. So for example, this text would be representing something about the telephone and vice versa. But for right now, I'm just going to be playing around with random icons. So I'm just gonna be playing around with this telephone icon. I'm just gonna place it into the middle of this image over here. And I'm gonna be putting this handshake icon over here. And I'm going to be putting this meeting icon just over here. So with that done, we can color them in. So I'm gonna make them white. And now we're just going to play around with the creative technique. We're gonna highlight everything, press on Control G to group it up and just rotate it to the right just a tad like this. Perfect. Alrighty, that looks awesome. That's also the third step completed. Step four, add the text. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna head over to insert text box and we're just gonna draw out a text box over here. Just make sure the text box itself isn't touching the uh, infographic. I'm gonna be putting in some gibberish over here. Uh, obviously you'll be putting in your own thing. Let's just change the font size of this to 12. Press on enter, type title over here and change the font size and the font actually to uh, Panton black caps. Let's just change that to 14. So we're just gonna do the same thing over here for the green point, and we're also going to be bringing one out for the yellow point just over here. Perfect, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this background effect that you see over here, right? Uh, what I intended to do was to highlight that this text correlates to this point in the infographic scheme using the color schemes as well as the background uh, color for, for the text over here. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Um, you might think, well, there's actually no way that a shape can cover that because it would sort of overlap. Don't worry, I will show you how to do all of that. So over here, for example, I'm going to go to insert shapes and I'm just gonna draw out the rectangle like you see over here. And I'm gonna send this to back. Let's just bring that down a bit and bring that up a bit, just like that, perfect, okay. So you might be saying, well, wait, there's this little rectangle thing just over there, yo, yo. Don't worry, guys. With this rectangle selected, go to Format, go to Edit Shape, Edit Points, zoom in, and uh, right click where the infographic meets with the rectangle, which is right over here, and click on Add Point. Do the same thing, highlight the line, click on Add Point. And then you can just delete this point over here. And then you can just move that up a bit, and done, perfect. So I'm gonna remove the outline of this image and I'm also going to change the color of this image to the same color that you see here and then go to shape fill, more fill colors and set the transparency to 90, perfect. Now I can just move the text into the background 
and that is crazy cool. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other two text boxes and I'm just gonna speed up the video in order to save time on this tutorial. Perfect, and that is the fourth step completed. Step five, add the main point. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna bring in this heart icon that represents the main point and just blow it up. And we're also going to be putting a title at the bottom. And I'm gonna call it main point. Put it in the middle and increase the font size. change the color of this to a red that I have set over here as well as the heart to a red and now we're just going to fine tune it so I can just delete this stuff, highlight everything, pressing control G to group it up and bring it down to the middle just a bit and perfect that's it so well made and very very easy to make using a tracing technique. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like, do comment, do share, and do subscribe. Please also visit slackcow.com and subscribe to our mailing list. We'd really appreciate it if you did. If there's anything else I can help out with, just let me know. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.